just so everyone knows that if I remember to edit this in, uh, it has a seizure warning for flashing lights. So just as a warning to anyone that's sensitive to flashing lights, this game s warned about them. And again, this is Stories Untold. I got this from Adamantium Wang. Thank you again so much, Adamantium Wang, for the game. I got it forever ago, but I'm finally playing it now, and thank you. So, and I am gonna play them in order. It also suggests you play it in order, hence why I think they're connected. Ready? House Abandoned, episode one. Oh, do I have to hit start again? <laughs> that was anticlimactic. <laughs> Some commands, ah, maybe case sensitive. Keep a lookout for what, hints? My earbud fell on my ear. How's the volume? Jesus. I like these graphics, it reminds me of Stranger Things. Which I think this came out before Stranger Things? House Abandoned specifically, maybe not Stories Untold. I like that. Yeah, it reminds me of Stranger Things. 80s synth. Hell yeah. So yeah, how does that volume sound with me compared to the music? But it's good. Rude. Oh, the house abandoned. A. Interactive horror adventure. It's like a screen print. Oh my god. <laughs> So loud. For me, it's loud. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic, as idyllic, right? As you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Wait, why wait? Okay, so I'm gonna move my microphone a little bit. There we go. So I know I type. It just said wait though. What does that mean? Glove box. It's one word. Oh god, can I type? That'd be great. It's diagonal, so. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Oops. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. Read note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. I'm daughter, bitch. This is why we don't have a good a relationship, apparently. You got my gender wrong. Uh, no. Uh, hi, son. Hope you enjoyed your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Please press enter to continue. Okay. So, the attic. You pull up to the driveway of the family. Oh, this is the same. Walk up to the house. Huh. The house. Damn it. House. I'm really bad at text adventures, guys. Never done them before. Okay. Like, I've attempted once with River, and River's, like, was trying to give me hints, and I was like, get out of car. You open the car door and step out. The house is grand, set perfectly, um, perfectly among the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Okay, so he said to go around the house and what now? Read note from dad. I just want to re-go over it. I need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Okay, so go around back. Although I was this close. <laughs> Where would you like to go? Backyard. Go around the back of the house. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. Well, that's not what I'm asking. Start generator. Unlock door. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Look inside. Heh, <laughs> go inside. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Flip light switch. That's 
Mm, not one word. A click, and nothing. There is no power. The note should say how to restore it. Leave the house. You step outside the front door. The house is, oh, right. Go around the house. No! To the yard. You take a walk around the yard. Around to the yard. The yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Well, that's good. He said a shack? Start generator. Generator. Did I spell generator wrong? Look around. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. Go to the generator. You are standing next to the generator. Turn the generator on. The switch on the generator is on and it whirs to life. The house is still dark. That's because we didn't light it up. That's fine. Go to the front door. You walk back around to the front door of the house. Flip the light switch. Did I spell it wrong? You flick the switch and the lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Hmm. Should I look around? I will ask you guys advice. Should I look around or just try and go straight for the attic? Look at everything, all the things. Attics are I mean, it is true. Attics are terrifying. Okay, I'm gonna walk around and explore, I guess. Um, go to the living room. <clears throat> you step inside the living room. The spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. Look around. There's nothing here of interest. Oh, well, go to the kitchen. I guess there's nothing there of interest, guys. Uh, leave the living room. You go back out to the hallway. Kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a utility room. I thought it was a vitility room and I was like, huh, words, they elude me. There's a door to a utility room, but otherwise, it's just a kitchen. Look around. It's very clean and tidy. Not been used in a while. Okay. Uh, utility room. Uh, go to the utility room. I gotta think about how to spell it. The door is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Great. Leave the kitchen. So nothing. Exploring, I guess, isn't bad. Uh, go upstairs. Stairs. You walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell is the stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls. Images of happy times. Where are our parents' room? Is there a third floor? Is this the Amityville Horror House? What is happening? Anyway. Um, go to the bathroom. And then we'll check out the bedrooms. You step inside the bathroom. You are in the bathroom. There's not much to note, but it's all in good order. Look around. Bathroom is clean. A large mirror sits above the sink. Leave. Uh, look in the mirror. What do we look like? It's your reflection. Looking good! Well, damn it! Okay, <laughs> leave the bathroom. You step back onto the landing. The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom. So let's go to go to sister's bedroom. You walk into your sister's old room. Your sister? What? Uh, was that my game or was that the game? Was that my computer freezing or did the game purposely freeze to freak me out. Uh, your sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned, drowned under a pile of colorful soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. 
So look around. Because, I mean, technically we already do, but... There's also a large wardrobe in the corner of the room. The door slightly ajar. Look in the wardrobe. I don't want to. A large clothes wardrobe. Usually, unusually, the door is slightly ajar. She never liked you going through her stuff. Are you saying I shouldn't go under here? I'm gonna die. Open the wardrobe. It is empty, apart from a pile of scattered photographs at the bottom. Look at photographs. They are all- I got photos of another time as an achievement. They are all identical. A forest road at night. You put them back. That's sketch. Okay. Leave the bedroom. You step back into the landing. Go to my bedroom. The- or you walk into- I didn't catch that. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. And it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrap box. Look around first. It's a sta standard bedroom. A desk, a wood green TV, the usual. Oh. Look at gift wrap box. A large gift wrap box, box or present. The tag says your name. Open the box. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A Futuro. <laughs> Futuro? That was quick. Uh, 128K plus two. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. So it's 22.05. I need to not forget the time just in case it likes to fucking up in a weird way. All right. Your old bedroom. Okay. Um. So we have a computer. On your desk is a Futuro... Futuro computer and a copy of the house abandon it's all still it's all still to be set up though plug in the computer you start to plug in the various cables and leads leads the computer is all set up and ready to go there's a game here too put in the game uh, start the game you put the cassette in the computer and press play. Skip the show. It's upside down now. Uh, it's fucked up now. Oh my god, get out, get out. What is this? Amityville horror? <sighs> that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> uh, uh, this is fine. <laughs> oh god, that, my heart's like going really bad. That was the saddest sound ever. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't even know if it was a scream, it was just a reaction. Great. Oh, I can kind of weirdly look around. All right. So, great. It's changed though. You can't stand to be near this place. Oh, it's different. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Open the glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. Read note from dad. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, 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 get out of the car. Wait, 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 wait. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out the car, get out the car, get out. Get out the car. Get out, the, get out, get out, get out the... What? You pull up to the driveway of the family. Okay, so get out of the car. Get out of the car. 
You force the warped car door open and fall. What? The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side, wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Damn, this shade, guys. Go to the yard. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown, and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. There is an old generator next to you. Turn on the generator. That's neat. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Go to the front door. You go back to the front of the house. Read note from dad. This is what you wanted. Huh. Go inside. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use the key. Use key. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Go inside. <clears throat> you reluctantly step inside the front door. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Read. Note. It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to the touch. Flip the light switch. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. There are stains and trails all- Fucking my Stop! It says stop. Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in this house. That can't be. Read note. Make a stop, make a stop, make a stop, make a stop. Stop alarm clock. Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set in. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room adjacent, and the stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Can't read the note. It's bleeding. Uh, worst sound ever, <laughs> right? Oh my god. That was my alarm clock growing up too. You go to the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there is a carcass on the table. There is a writing on the wall. There is writing on the wall, and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. Also, I figured I'm the person upstairs, and the person downstairs. Nine 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 nine. Like I think there's two people at once in this house. Look around. There seems to be writing on the wall that looks like blood. Read writing on wall. Fucking why? 1986 is the achievement I just got. Why? What's 1986? In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Why? Uh, oh, 1986. I see it on the wall right over there. Great. Open the utility room door. The door's locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. Leave. Uh, look at carcass. What is it? You look closer, but can't tell what it is or what it was. Great. That's exactly what I needed. Leave kitchen. You step back into the hallway. Your shoes are wet. Is this new though? The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. Go to the living room. But the rest is right. You enter the living room. The, li the living room, although hardly an appropriate term. The furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. 
Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Read note. A note, always changing, now reads. Get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. Rude. Oh, I didn't even notice. Thank you for letting me know. The pictures, guys, behind me. Their eyes are crossed out now. And they're like weirdly black ichor bleeding. Great. Run down and empty. Abandoned. And for good reason. All right, that's it. Leave living room. So go upstairs. Fuck, I don't want to. Nope. Mm. You head up the stairs. They creak. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister's sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. <coughs> Pictures. I can't. The behind the door, a phone starts to ring. You don't understand. Neither can he. Pick up the phone. You hear him answer the phone. Your mind hurts and you taste iron. Get out of the house. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. You should hang up the phone. I do, however. You consider the worst. Relief. Same but different. Go to the bathroom. You went to the bathroom. I don't want to. I don't want to do anything. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. <clears throat> the broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. Look in mirror. You can't bear to look at yourself. Leave bathroom. Step back in the landing. Same but different. Why is different got a dot? And why is sisters freaking out? Something pictures are all over the wall, but something is different about them. That's uh, maybe that look at pictures. I never did. The pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. Great. Go to sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. So I can't, I can't go in there. Okay. Go to my room. The door is bolted shut with a four digit combination lock. 1986. Unlock with 1980, oops, 86. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted. No use in years. Not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code. Hold on. Read note. The note is reacting. Get in the door. Get in the room. Get in. Do it. Go. I don't wanna. Enter 1986. The lock clicks open. Ah, same but different. The I, What? Go into our room. Oh, I don't wanna. Go in my room, our room. The door is closed. Open the door. You open the bedroom door! Look inside. Sorry, I don't know what you're looking at. What do you mean? Go inside, go in my room. You enter your bedroom. The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp. I'm so scared. But you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Read the note. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but you still punish me. I can be with you now. Press enter to continue. There's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Talk to the person? You struggle out a hello. Everything you say, I say. Everything you are, I am. A 
feeling of hopelessness. You grip the note. Your grip on the note tightens further. Press enter. There's nothing left to do. Nope's the fuck out. Oh man. I'm scared too. Read note again? Get in the door, get in the door. I thought I did. This has to end now. End. You're pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. No. Oh, please stop. Stop what? It was all my fault. Say it. No. Just say it. <laughs> Should I just keep fighting it? It. Fine. No. Oh, man. Yeah, I think you have to say it. <laughs> Damn it! Okay, fine. Finally. It's on my left side of my ear now. Instead of the right. Finally is the achievement I just got. What? What does that mean? <laughs> I don't, I, I think it was trying to say something, but I don't understand. We are the rebellion cat army. <laughs> Low key, it's just our overbearing mother, right? What I miss? Um, we like guided the person on the computer up to us and then realized it's our fault for something. And then we said we wanted to be with our family. So are we like killing ourselves because they're all dead? Like, I don't understand. Episode one is complete though. This will all make sense once the game is finished. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah.